20% increase. I always wanted a thing called tuna sashimi. guys, two near again. Um, this time I'm going to be reviewing uh, a bit more Kasugi. Uh, this time it's Rastan Saga Tool. Uh, this is the PC Engine version but it's pretty much almost arcade perfect. So, but anyway, um, first came out was Rastan. Uh, came out Taito released on the arcades in 1987. I remember first seeing that game in the local shop by me. And uh, it's just, you know, really sort of bright arcade game and nice graphics with a uh, platformer guy with a sword, cool music. Uh, and I remember playing the game and loving it. I remember it being rock hard and pretty solid and the game is hard. But uh, I remember really liking Rastan. Um, so I think, oh, classic, you know, pump loads of my pocket money straight into the arcade machine. And then, I think it was a year or two later, it came out on the mass system, which was a severely cut down version of the arcade game but brilliant I love the Master System version it's very good in its own right it it did manage to capture a lot of what was cool about the arcade machine <coughs> sorry guys um, yeah, it pulled it off really well so then uh, Tato decided in 1988 to do a sequel in the arcades called Rastan Saga 2 and uh, when I when I was looking in my uh, computer and video games magazine, and I seen Rastan Saga two, and I seen the pictures, I was like, oh yeah, I love Rastan. Oh, I got to have that. And it, it was released in 1990. I think it was the same year the Mega Drive one was released. And I remember spent I must have been about 35, 40 quid buying the Mega Drive version. Then to open it up to think, oh my God, what the hell is this crap? So I don't know what the hell went wrong, but Tato managed to totally screw up their sequel to this game. So, let's have a play of it and see what you think. You got your bit of your story thing going on here, which is a bit of a crazy font. So, as you can see, they made the sprites huge. Um, they control all right, you know what I mean? Nothing, you know, nothing special. Compared to the Arstan site, you know, the sprites still are crap. Um, you've got to watch this game, it's one of those games where you've got to pull directly down to duck down. If you pull down at an angle, you basically will just carry on uh, running. And, you know, you've got some extra weapons and stuff, you think, oh yeah, this game might be cool. No, this game is terrible. It's really crappy, it's very hard not to get hit. Very hard to attack down like you could do in the... The original version, like you can do it on this, but it's hard work. The sprite's massive, so it's very hard to dodge stuff. Like you get, uh, like some weapons got like that's got like a sparkly effect on the end of it. Don't ask me what that does, but it does seem to kick ass. But yeah, where, you know, where's all the really nice scrolling backgrounds gone? You know, it's really static looking backgrounds on this game. Um, you know, where is the good playability? This game does play a bit stiff. Probably didn't want to do that. Why does he take so long to sort of... Uh, why does he stay in a stance when he's uh, doing his weapon? But anyway. See, you get it anyway, even though I jump down and do my sword. And when I first see this game, I thought, oh, it doesn't look too bad. But when you start playing it, it's, it's crap. And pretty much all the levels look very, very similar. Here we go, the bosses. This is the fun bit about this. Oh, sorry, that's not a boss. When we do get to the boss, the other thing is game, blocks. Why the hell is there blocks and falling blocks in the stage? What, what the hell is that about? You spend this entire section of this stage killing blocks. Why, look? Some of the other stages as well, the blocks just fall down from the top of the screen. Well, I don't get it, like, you know. The original Rastan had, um, you know, you had fire pits and stuff, you had uh, cool enemies, you had height, like, um, uh, not hydras, you had sort of like crossbreed creatures, when you had bats, you had guys with swords. This is the fun bit about this game the bosses. 
the boss is literally just running through and killing. Like that. And it's very hard to dodge these fuckers because they just run at you. You try jumping over him, you die. See? Awful. It just runs at me and kills me. Absolute nightmare. I, I just haven't found any way you can jump over the bosses and... Oh, I actually didn't get hit there. It's just... Uh, terrible. You're better off just taking the hits and stand there and kill them. And pretty much all the bosses are the same. I so say the other thing with the big sprites on this game is... Uh, the, the play build, they, they don't even feel chunky, you know? They feel just mm, lethargic and slow. We'll get to stage two. Now I can't hit those enemies, so I've got to jump over them. Why are the enemies so crap in this game as well? Falling blocks from the sky, great. you got to hold your shield up to get rid of them things. This game's boring already. See what I mean about this game? So this was released on uh, the Master System, uh, sorry, not the Master System, the Mega Drive and the PC Engine. Um, the PC Engine version is better than the Mega Drive version, but, you know, I'm not saying much really, the game is shite. I think to get rid of those blocks, I've got to... You literally just get hit by everything. Say, so like, you know... You had fire pits and water and all on the original arcade version. This one, got well, water down the bottom, no animation at all, just quite lazily done. The guy's missing the top of his head. So we'll, we'll continue. Okay, see? Like, how am I supposed to do that without getting it? I just, I, I don't, I can't work out how Tato messed up so bad. Alright, oh, that was a fall, not a pit. Great. So am I supposed to get over that? Oh, my God. I don't know how they messed up so bad. How oh, could they, you know, was it a completely different team that made this game? Did they not look at the first game? Or did Tato think the first game was terrible? And decided to change it? They, they could have just made... They could have just carried on with the first game, made a bit nicer graphics, you know, give us some new levels and some, some new bosses. But yeah, I would have been happy with that. I, I suspect, like, jumping, fine jumping on this game is non existent as well. through these bloody things. See, I bought this game already. It just, what, what happened? Like, what, what made them think that this, this game was going to be good like this? Damn. See, so yeah, the jumping's pretty bad in this game. He's pretty much got, a, he's got quite a bit of momentum to him. And it's very hard to stop yourself in mid-jump. Yeah, set and guard you now. Here we go. So if I try, try a bit of tactics. Yeah, here we go. No, oh, I thought he was just going to walk straight into me again then. Just, you can't get away from the bloody things. You are literally better off standing still. I'm just going to stand just still and kill it. Not for the best.
And of course, it is. Oh my god, the aim did there. There it is. Yep. What can I say? Absolute shite. Rastan Saga 2. I don't know what the hell Tate over overthinking. But I love I love the first game. Very good. But the second game is awful in lots of ways. Plays terrible. Looks terrible. Got terrible animation. It's got awful music. It's got terrible level design. It's just awful in every way. And I just I would avoid like the plague. Don't buy the Mega Drive version. Don't buy the PC Engine version. And stay away from the arcade version. If you want to play a Rastan game, play the first one. Anyway guys, that's Sekasogi. Uh, um, I would probably struggle to give this more than 3 out of 10. It does have some redeeming features. It's got Rastan, Saga on the starting screen. With Sword. That's lovely. Pick of the game is crap. Anyway, see you next time. <laughs>